Hey everybody, it's me checking in. Uh, it's kind of been a while since my last video. Actually, it's been a really long time since my last video. Uh, I usually try to do it a little bit more often. Um, I've been uh, extremely busy. Uh, I got quite a few different things in the mix right now uh, that have been keeping me away from YouTube. Uh, you can see I'm actually checking in uh, from inside the kiln. Uh, it's probably about 95% done. I have uh, all the solar hooked up and all the radiator and hydraulic or the coolant system all hooked up and running. Um, so I've been pretty busy on getting this thing done. Uh, I don't really have the Arduino stuff quite uh, figured out now just because my old Arduino I had, um, I ended up doing something to it and it didn't work so I had to order a new one. Um, I have the new one out there working but it doesn't it's not doing any data stuff right now it's just controlling the power uh, right now it's actually um, kind of overcast uh, it's kind of a, a, a rainstorm but you can see uh, all the systems are running right now I actually have it set up that I'm um, I have a 120 volt system in here now uh, a couple batteries uh, several solar panels and I'm running a dehumidifier in here uh, so this use this this dehumidifier is a 70 pin dehumidifier. Uh, it, the best it can do is 30 percent uh, moisture content for in the air. I can't. I haven't been able to find anything that'll take it down below 30 percent. But it's actually doing really well for helping my dry times on my lumber. Uh, for one inch stuff like this, I'm uh, getting stuff done or getting stuff dry in about three days. The kiln is hitting. Uh, the kiln's hitting about 130 degrees every day uh, right now because it's been a really crappy like overcast day. It's about 90 degrees in here, maybe a little bit hotter. Um, humidity range is a, because we just put some new wood in here. Humidity spikes probably, probably about 40% in the morning. And then with the dehumidifier on, um, it drops the humidity down to 30%. So like I said, uh, Fresh boards, these are sitting at 19% right now, at least that one is. These just went in the kiln yesterday, 17%. So these will be down to 6% here, uh, probably in the next two days if we have good weather. Uh, as far as my slabs, um, these are getting down to, well this right here is 8%. These were actually metering at 6% the other day, but maybe with the rainstorm and stuff, uh, they're metering a little high, 7.4%. So two inch material, um, I'm able to get safely down to 6%, 7% in about two to three weeks. Uh, anything over that is just icing on the cake. A lot of, a lot of the people ask me about case hardening uh, and, and warping and twisting and bowing and uh, I guess because it's a solar kiln, at least this is the way I explain it to them, because it's a solar kiln, the wood has a chance to relax overnight. So I don't see a lot of the case hardening. Uh, I don't see any, to be honest. Uh, and I don't get any bows or twists. Or uh, I, do, I do see some loss in the wood uh, because it's beetle kill wood. A lot of the times it'll be, um, uh, it'll be spongy or dry rot and that doesn't show up until you dry the wood and the wood contracts and then you'll see the dry rot. Uh, I don't know if I have an example. Well, actually you can see it in that big three inch slab there where that cr the checking is inside. Um, you can see that it actually gapped the wood and shrank a little bit. Uh, that's easy enough to fix with a little bit of, a little bit of putty. Uh, you can actually hear that the sun came out so all the fans have kicked on or it's gotten a little bit more noise in here now but what I'll do from here is kind of show you uh, show you the outside I guess before I get out there you can see I'll show you the radiator system it's running distilled water and coolant a 50 50 mix uh, I'm using the yellow kind whatever that is and it pumps the coolant into this radiator system uh, temperatures until I get the Arduino kind of set up to show you guys Temperatures outside at the at the heat pipes can go anywhere from I'm seeing 130 to 160, 170. 
and then it comes into it comes in over there it runs through two radiators this is that are just like this in front of the fans uh, and then it runs over here and into a, a car radiator tank and then it's pumped around in another circle so it works really good and I've noticed when I kick the, the evacuator tubes on um, it actually helps with the humidity so I haven't really figured out why that is yet uh, obviously adding the extra heat to the kiln is maybe changing the humidity levels or whatever but uh, it does work it's not a significant change at least at this point uh, maybe in the winter it might be I'm getting so much solar gain from it being summer and being warm out that the temperatures are um, I'm not I'm not really seeing a huge difference but I am noticing a humidity difference with the tube so um, with that we'll go ahead and we'll go outside and I'll show you the outside of the kiln all right so this is it this is the outside of the kiln um, you can see I've been really really busy uh, you can also see I had an accident I'll kind of talk about that in a little bit um, I'm running four uh, 325 watt panels from solar world and then I have the three 300 watt panels so I have like four different systems these three on top are running two fans that are six amp on the inside and then I got that small one that's running an independent fan uh, those are all direct wire to the fan, so they run 24 hours as long as there's sun. Um, and then I have the coolant system. So there's 24 tubes here, uh, evacuated heat tubes by Apricus. Uh, I've had quite a bit of problems with them trying to get replacements, and, and that's a whole other beast. But shipping evacuated tubes has been a real pain in my rear. So I got two busted ones that I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to replace. Uh, but you can see... I've obviously been putting a lot of work into the coolant system. I built all these racks myself. Um, they're insulated at the top. They have uh, couplers on them, so they're quick connect couplers. Uh, I don't want to pull them apart right now just because it's pressurized from the heat. Uh, you can pull these apart. Everything's modular. Um, the, 20, they're the, the solar panels I'm running, they're, I'm running them all at a continuous 24 volts. Uh, I'm putting out close to 2,000 watts or something like that. Uh, a little, it's actually a little bit less, like 1,700 or whatever. Uh, the, it only runs, these big panels only run the dehumidifier. Uh, I'll kind of show you the control system, but the dehumidifier, from what I can tell, the dehumidifier only pulls about 700 to 800 watts. Um, so anything over that, it adds to the battery bank and it kind of levels out. Um, I probably should add a couple more solar panels just for days like today. Um, a lot of the power draw is coming off the batteries. The, the panels aren't making quite enough to run that dehumidifier all day long. So uh, I'll show you the, the actual controls for the systems. Uh, I did all this myself. So um, if you're going to do something like this and it's not on a trailer, you actually have to have a licensed electrician. So here's the panel. Uh, you can see I actually had about a, a $600 mistake when I first designed this thing. Uh, this is a TriStar MPPT, uh, which is extremely important to know. Uh, the other one I had was not the MPPT. It was actually a grid tie uh, inverter. I think I paid $300 for that one, and it ended up uh, that that was the wrong one. The one I'm running now, right, this one right here, is... Um, uh, it's a T60 I believe I don't know if you can see it anywhere this is actually an additional panel that I put on here it's a hundred dollar panel uh, this is a five hundred dollar controller you can see right now the, advan the, the advantage of putting this panel on here is that I can see exactly how many watts uh, I can actually see a whole bunch of stuff like how much power has been generated how much power I'm using um, it's really nice to see this especially when you're trying to troubleshoot or if you want to make sure everything's working right. So right now I'm only making 313 watts. So I'm at a, I'm at a negative draw right now for that dehumidifier because that thing's pulling like 800. I, I sh eventually I'll, I have a a watt. So it's a it's a power meter that you can put in on your 120 and it shows you it shows you how much your, your utilities are actually pulling. I don't have it on here right now. Oh, a kilowatt is what it's called. I don't have it on here right now because I already know 
but in order to design the system that's how I figured it out is by using a kilowatt finding out how much everything pulls and and then designing the system around it the other mistake I made um, when I first started I did it was off of a 12 volt system uh, and that was because I was only running two panels so it made sense so I bought a 12 volt inverter which was like another three or four hundred dollars um, and then when I had to go to the dehumidifier, I actually, I'm putting out, you know, like I said, 1700 watts or whatever. And in order to run that many watts, you have to be, you have to be it on a 24 volt system for this. That's what this charge controller tells you. And I, for my general understanding is anything over a certain amount of watts, you need to be 24 volt. And then after a certain amount of watts, you need to be um, 48 volt. So I had to change my inverter uh to a 24 volt inverter and i'm using this this kotec um, so far i haven't had too many problems you can hear it's running right now because it's powering that dehumidifier so uh, as far as a decision on what inverter to run or what charge controller to run i just kind of shot from the hip i found this one on um, on uh, wholesale solar and then I went over to Amazon or whatever and I found it cheaper and I bought it off of there. So um, it's, got, it's got a bunch of over voltage protection and different things that are important to have just for surges and whatnot. Uh, and then obviously I have my breaker, uh, breaker panel. The pump's not even on, it is now. So um, I'm just using indoor panels. There's a big difference on these things when you go to buy them. Uh, I'm probably not using the right the right breakers either. I'm using 60 amps. Uh, I had 15 amp breakers in here and it was popping them because this thing draws more than 15 amps when that dehumidifier is running, um, and it's putting out quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of power and it's drawing quite a bit of power. So, in addition to that, uh, I'm running. You can hear that it just kicked on or just kicked off or whatever. I'm not sure what just happened. This is a voltage step down it's a 24 volt to 12 volts so i can still power my 12 volt system uh, the 12 volt system runs the pump and it runs my arduino which is over here so right now the arduino i have a i have a voltage buck in here to make sure i have a continuous voltage to this thing i'm only running it at nine volts and then i have um I have a relay here and the relay is just used to control everything so it turns stuff on and off at a certain time this stuff yeah it, it was kind of a learn as you go so i don't know if I'm, i don't know if i'm doing it right or not but anyways it's working uh, and then i started off with a 12 volt system like i said and i just had one battery uh, when i stepped up to a 20 volt 24 volt system i had to get another of the same batteries so yeah these are wired these are wired uh i can't remember if it's series or parallel but basically it's wired for 24 volts um, and then that keeps that keeps everything powered when we have dips in the sun so uh, that's kind of where everything's at now uh, i got quite a few different things coming up here in the future um, some big news items that i just haven't had a chance to address in youtube and whatever else so uh, with that, I'll kind of let you go and just stay tuned. There's going to be quite a few different things coming up that, uh, that are going to be kind of fun and exciting. So uh, I'll see you on the next video.